So what do you think about the results of the race? Do you think that was a fair race? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shipping, shipping, shipping. If you can't ship your stuff, you can't build it in a factory. That's why buildings are built out on site. That's why we have guys walking around with little hammers, little craftsmen, you know, drilling away and, uh, and shimming bits of wood. And that's why building construction is crazy. That's why it's expensive. That's why it's slow. That's why it's unaffordable because it wasn't possible to build buildings in a factory. This is so incredibly important. And I really want people to understand why the shipping matters. Even the guys that are building houses in a factory, they can't scale their production because they're shipping these wide loads that are illegal on the highway. They're incredibly expensive. If you ship a standard factory built room module, that's usually like a 14 foot load. You have uh, follow cars, you have restricted routes, restricted travel times, in some states, police escorts, all kinds of permits. It's a disaster. There is no way that these guys can ship their houses in a cost-effective manner, and therefore they can't scale production. So every house factory out there is just a small regional factory that's basically servicing two or 300 mile radius from the factory. The fact that these houses can ship means we can actually scale up production to levels that the world has never seen before and get to that one house per minute number that we're looking to get to. And that's not a number that I just made up. That's no big deal for car automobile manufacturing. So why can't we do that with houses? So to start off, we have these regular pickup trucks. These are the types of vehicles that you would usually use to tow a box or casita on our special trailer. But just to spice things up a little bit, we've got some modified Teslas. They're modified because they don't come with tow hitches because they're not supposed to tow anything. But we welded on some tow hitches and we're gonna hook them up to the trailers and do some drag racing. Once again, a big shout out to Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Thanks guys for the Teslas. Uh, we'll be sure to uh, 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 return them. We'll, 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 at least we'll return them. I think we're gonna need someone to like wave the starting flag. So uh, maybe we'll get like a fat guy in a, in a Speedo or something. I forgot my Speedo. Let's do it. Thoroughly impressed. So usually most people are not going to drag race their box with casita, but just to know that it's possible, it makes uh, the product much better, much more appealing. We have 30 seconds. Who do you think's gonna win? Tesla or pickup truck? The pickup truck's got more weight on it. So, you know, the tires don't spin. Uh, otherwise I'd say Tesla's gonna, gonna be faster for sure but we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing breaks. So Justin here is gonna be racing in the Boxable 500. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been racing for? Uh, about two and a half minutes. <coughs> nice. <laughs> and can you tell us more about your, uh, what you're gonna be pulling with today, your, your vehicle? Oh, I have the brand new electric Bugatti right here. Um, nice. I'm the odds nice. on favorite. <coughs> Think I'm gonna kill this, uh, this Tesla. Nice. Damn it, Justin! You let us down! All this practicing for nothing! Considering, you know, 
your history of, of scootering the Boxable <laughs> factory, um, you know, I'm not sure looking back that this was the best idea. There's um, no blood on the track. This is a success. Yeah, thank you for not um, claiming workers' comp or anything uh, during the previous incidents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep that off record. <laughs> All hilarity aside, uh, testing is testing. I think we did the eighth mile in 20 seconds with the Tesla. I actually think that's rather good. It was interesting that the scooter outdragged the Tesla for a good, you know, 10, 20 feet. And then the Tesla nailed it, of course. And then with our own trucks, which is a bit more serious, uh, to do product testing. Normally, you know, you, you tow something like this with a big rig. So it's not the boxable way, it costs too much money. And so we're testing these uh, GM products, the Chevy Silverado 3500. And we're looking at different ways of towing the casitas. And what we have here is a trailer version 1.0, which is just pulling these cute little 20 footers but in full production, we'll be putting two on something like a Silverado, Ford. But they're still pickup trucks. You know, the guy that's bringing them to a customer can unhitch and he can go downtown and pull in, go and have dinner. And uh, you certainly can't do that with your big rig. Yeah, I can hold the mic. Well, they went too soon. So right here, of course, we have the custom boxable trailer that we built so that we can tow these houses with just a regular pickup truck. Of course, that's really awesome and it makes sense for a lot of situations, but the other way we've been shipping these houses is with a big rig. And the cool thing about that is we're actually able to get two houses on one truck. The idea behind Boxable, the core innovation, is that because we can actually ship these things, now we can mass produce them in the factory. And we're doing everything we can to make the shipping uh, more and more efficient and just dial it in. So of course, you know, two houses, one truck, that's really the best way to go. That's my favorite way to go. This truck here is actually going to Arizona for the workforce housing project. You like that two girls, one truck, didn't you? <laughs> I feel like we need to really emphasize that. Get me hooked up, let me do the trial. Alright, take a deep breath. Look, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, come on. Come on, Wyatt. All right, you got it, just start running, Wyatt. Start running. All right, somebody's got to stop it. <laughs> Breathe, Wyatt. You did it! Yeah! Hurt your knees, hurt your knees, hurt your knees. Come on. Get up, oh, Rocco. Get up, you bum! He's a bum! Hey, great job out there. Thank you, thank you. Got my workout for the year.
So what you're saying is you don't want to put a hitch on this and actually connect the boxable casita to it? No. No, okay. I mean, so we put, we put a hitch on the, the Teslas. I feel like we could just do the same to the Lambo. <laughs> right? No. No? No. Yeah. <laughs>